Hey guys, and welcome back to another Unfiltered Gamer board game review for the game Pathways by Frank Saro and published by Argentano. In this game, you're playing a 2 to 4 player game that plays roughly 5 to 30 minutes depending on how skilled you are, and it's for ages 8 and up. In the game Pathways, you are taking these discs, you are flicking them on your side of the board before the line to get to your opponent's side of the board and to get to the very edge of their row. And your opponent is doing the same thing, attempting to score points at the end of the game, and whoever has the the most points is going to score the difference and then you're going to calculate it based on this little score tracker. You play up to 11 points, there's a bunch of different ways to play. Let's talk about your setup and of course how to play and then my review. Setting up the game pathways is very simple. You'll take the main game board and place it on the middle area. Uh, one player will play on one side, the other on the other side. Give each player a baggie full of discs. You'll either be playing as the red or as the back black player. And then you're going to give them 12 discs in total. Take these little plungers and give one to each player in case they need them and the score tracker and place the scoring at zero for each side of the game board. After that, choose a starting player and begin the game. Playing the game is just as simple as understanding the setup. All you're going to be doing is taking your disc, if you're the starting player, placing it before the starting line here, and flicking it across the board. Your objective is to get to the end of the board without passing the line here, and score your markers inside the edges areas here. You're going to get points for each of your little markers or discs that make it into these little holes here, and your opponents will do the same thing on your side of the board. However, if you don't manage to get to the edge here, maybe you get it into the middle, you can use Use your pieces to form pathways to get to your opponent's side. You flicked one, then your opponent will flick one on their side, and back and forth. And you'll keep doing that until everybody has run out of discs. When that happens, you'll score your points, subtract the difference, and calculate it on this little tracker here, attempting to get to 11 points. And it's really that simple. Now, of course, it's not really that simple, but as far as explaining the game, it is. There's also variants of play. One variant of play is you can try and do connect four type of a thing. Another variant of play is if you want, you can take this uh, board here and flip it over and play on the easier side where you can score points uh, not only in the back lines but also in the next back lines which will get one point for any discs that you get in these areas and two points in these areas here. And that's basically the idea of the game Pathways. Flick, 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 flick. All your discs are now out. Calculate your points based on how far you got in the different scoring areas. Calculate the difference onto your tracker here and first person to 11 is the winner. Let's talk about my review. I have played a lot of dexterity flicking games in the past. A lot of them like Flick 'em Up are kind of like strategic uh, gamifications of an RPG mixed with like actions and management of the different characters and whatnot. And they definitely feel different than this one here. These are even some games where I play where you flick the card and you try and get to the edge of the table without going over. Uh, that's kind of brink. That's kind of more similar to this style of a game. This is what I would call a bar game. Now, I don't know if it was the intention of the game or not. Not, but personally, that is where I'd prefer to play a game like this at. And in fact, I would even suggest bars to buy these things and place them at tables in which players can pick them up if they buy a drink and utilize this game board because it's a lot of fun and it feels very similar to Shuffle Ball, but with some unique differences as well. I love the quality of Pathways. The discs are great. They flick very, very well. You don't need any sand or any of that like soft powder to make it glide across the board. You're simply going to take it and flick it and it will simply go across the board. No problems asked. Uh, there's also all the different spaces on the board which start off as kind of just trying to either score an ace or create a pathway. And you can kind of make up your own strategy as you go along learning the different types of flicking methods. It's a game that you're gonna progressively get better at, similar to games like Pool and of course like shuffleboard and like air hockey as you play more you will get better and like I said all the things that kind of remind me of this type of a game remind me of a game that you'd play at a pool hall now of course playing it at home is not a bad idea as well and in fact I can even see a game like this even a larger game like this being played like at an outside area where you're actually pushing the uh, discs across a huge board which would actually be really cool as well but for this this is definitely gonna be a coffee table game it's something I would even set up maybe in the living room that can kind of be placed in or onto the table in a certain like crevice and then you can go ahead and play with friends and family members. This is a two-player game that I have but there is a bigger board that I was told that can play up to four players and a team game I thought it would be even cooler. Uh, I guess you could play this as a two to, as a four-player game playing on teams going back and forth but it shines really well especially this variant as a two-player 
player game. Uh, I really like the idea of having these little discs and having little pointers. You can kind of angle it and decide how you want to flick it and it doesn't make a difference. There's little skill shots you can make as you try and hit these guys and they'll they'll spin. I'm, I'm, I'm terrible at trying to flick it on the on the left hand side here but you'll notice <laughs> like a pool ball you know how you can hit the side of it and it'll like spin out of its way. See how it kind of moved to the left there? It has that style of quality as well. Uh, some new, unique things to note too in the game is if you get your, if you do terrible like me when you're trying to flick on the side here and you get it into here, this is actually going to be removed. It still counts as a shot, but you're going to lose it. And that's because all players are going to be able to score only on their edge, edges of the, on the opposite edges of the board. And if your own ends up there, they get removed. Other things to note too is if the, top, the, the this thing here ends up like this, you're gonna push it face down like that. Another thing to note is if there's a tie each player is going to get one point and the first flicker is going to switch and if you have something like this where you have things on top of each other that's not a big deal either you'll just leave it there as it stands and it'll kind of form as a blockade uh, of sorts and that's pretty much the idea of the game quality is top notch of all the pieces the wood the bags everything works very well even these little homemade plunger things are excellent and of course the scoreboard here does exactly what it needs to do everything does what it needs to do as far as the game goes cool could be to see a score attached to the game board in some way. Even a larger game board would be cooler and I would definitely like to see the multiplayer uh, build of this game. And of course, maybe a table version of this game, but I, I'm not gonna be able to review something like that. I'd have to come into a huge thing here. But if you like dexterity games, if you like something like a kind of par Barty bar style game, Pathways is going to be one for you. In fact, you can even include little shot glasses to fit into the little circles here if you wanna use them as like a way to ricochet things or or type, type, make a type of a drinking game out of this, it's very easy to do so. And highly recommended for those of you who enjoy drinking party style games. This one here is gonna see a lot of love. Uh, I gotta pass this on, sadly, so that somebody else can review it. But if not, I would definitely be keeping this game. I'd probably even make a little small table version of it and have it sit inside of it and utilize it in game nights or, or party nights when players wanna come around and have a, a drink or so on like Halloween or on the New Year's or 4th of July. This would fit very well for those types of parties. It's one game I actually might even end up backing myself if I'm not going to be able to get a copy of it because I really, really, really enjoy Pathways. And if you like games like this, this is going to be definitely something you should take a look at and keep on your radar. There's a link down below in the description for this type of a game. People who won't like this game, people who don't like dexterity flicking style games. I don't have a lot of negative things to say about it because it's pretty straightforward and for those of you who don't like it, you will know you will not like this type of a game. There's a bit of luck, a bit of skill, a bit of uh, stylization. If you don't like flicking, uh, I don't really know. There's, it's very very, very straightforward. So I, I can't really give you like a, there's nothing wrong intrinsically with how it's designed, with how the pieces move. Maybe the quality of this could be better, like I said, attached to the board. Maybe it could be bigger, I suppose. Maybe you want to play it the four player variant, which apparently they have, or with an ad added mat to the game. But overall, yes, solid game. I, I want it. Thank you guys for watching another unfiltered gamer board game review for the game Pathways by Frank Sorrow. This is a super fun game and I'm so excited to see the Kickstarter campaign when it comes out. Oh, the quality is so good. Also check out our website unfilteredgamer.com. Blog, blog posts, giveaways, Kickstarter list, and more. We just finished one giveaway and we have another one coming up. Our live streams are every Sunday at 6.30 p.m. PST. We play games just like this one. And in fact, we did play this game on our last live stream and I dominated, which was a lot of fun. We played with Alicia and Callie to start with, and I had to come in and take care of business when I knew uh, that Callie wasn't able to subdue Alicia's and her, Alicia and her skill. I was able to take care of that business there. You can also go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Hit that subscribe button and the bell notification button to see more videos just like this when we review a bunch of Kickstarter games. So you can go ahead and decide if that's something you'd like to purchase or not. Patreon for a dollar. It helps us out greatly every month to do stuff like our live stream, pay for our Discord, pay for our OBS uh, multi-stream platform. It etc etc and to keep playing games like this for indie creators which is what we strongly urge to do on this channel all right guys thank you so much and as always i look forward to creating pathways with you next time <laughs>